the microphone, thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, it's Ross Solly from the International Canoe Federation. Congratulations to all three. Uh, I'd just like to ask each of you, please, uh, your thoughts on the K1200 first, and now that it is finished, what do you think about uh, the history of this event? Does anyone start? Does anyone want to start that? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, the 200 metre event is incredibly special for me uh, and for these guys sat here as well. Uh, I think it displays the canoe sprint sport at its most uh, explosive, most tight racing uh, and, you know, shows how fast these boats can actually move across the water over 200 metres. Um, it's incredibly, it displays the sport and how incredibly dynamic and powerful the athletes are that, that dedicate their lives to performing. Uh, in, in the sport um, and it's uh, an incredible shame that it's been removed from the Olympic program but that removal uh, opens new opportunities to other events being put in um, you know it, it, it's going to be missed but uh, it's been incredible to be part of its journey for me personally uh, yeah I'm, I'm almost I, I, I have the same opinion as Liam uh, I have a lot of friends at home, and uh, everybody said the 200 meter is uh, is very spectating. The sprint, the speed, it, uh, they said it, uh, it's really really good. Watch the sprint races. Uh, of course, it will be really missed. And uh, you know, you know, I, I had uh, a lot of changes about my technique, about the training preparation plan. Uh, we had a lot of changes, and. I feel a bit it's, everything is going to the trash, you know, because uh, I cannot prepare another Olympic event in 200 meters. But uh, I'm really looking forward for the next Olympic events, the K2500. Uh, yes, K2500, K4500. Yeah, basically for me it's the same. Uh, it, it, the 200 meters represent a break with the traditions, you know, for the long distances, uh, 1000 meters and 500 because it brings, uh, uh, it brings uh, something new uh, in terms of training and in terms of uh, uh, race, uh, some different type of athletes and give the opportunity to uh, different type of athletes to express, the, express themselves. And uh, I was very happy when it came out. And now that uh, it's over, I'm pretty sad because all the work we have done is uh, kind of vanished. But I know that uh, all the work we did uh, is still there. So I, I know that we can reinvent ourselves. Okay, thank you. I have a, a question from the chat to Liam Heath. What does your medal represent for the British Canoe program? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the, every Olympic medal means so much to the athletes that secure them, um, you know, in so many different ways. They're kind of unique to the person that wins them. Uh, it is, yeah, very personal, the journey that every athlete has been on uh, to actually achieve that result. Um, you know, once again, for, for British canoeing, it, it means we... We have good athletes in our country and hopefully it will inspire our younger generations and grassroots athletes to become um, Olympians and to, to push themselves uh, to see what they can achieve. Uh, I think that's what uh, the true power of an Olympic medal is. It's, it's a power to inspire younger generations, inspire, inspire people to, to be better than they, they are, you know. Okay, thank you. Another question from the chat to Hungarian Shandor. What does it mean to you how to be Olympic champion in your country? Because your country, as we know, is a super. Uh, you know, the Olympics is really famous in Hungary and a lot of people is cheering for us, to the Hungarian Olympic team. Uh, especially my hometown, Jomandrud, is, uh, they, they are gathered 
the whole town gathered together and uh, they saw the race on the projector and I think uh, hundreds or thousands just watched the race live. You know, that time in Hungary it was uh, 3 a.m. So everybody just woke up and see my, see our race. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, any question from the room? <coughs> So let me see in the chat, uh, a question to uh, Manfredi Rizza, uh, this event in Paris 2024 will be not there, any changing in your preparation or training uh, and uh, yeah. what is uh, your future? Yeah, of course, uh, I will change my preparation and uh, I will probably dedicate to the 500 meters and so I will change a little bit. Uh, uh, the program and yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Okay. Okay. No more uh, question. So thank you again. And the next pre next press conference will be women's canoe single 200 meter at uh, 1:35. Thank you so much.